Alright guys, in this video, I'm going to show you some of the uh, error coins and some of the more valuable coins that me and my brother have found. And we'll give you a recap of the videos when we found them. And then we'll take them to the coin shop and see what they say about them. I'm thinking possible clipped planchet. Probably not though. Let me know what you guys think. Kind of just a tiny little chip out there. It's in really bad condition, so it wouldn't be worth a ton if it was one. But um, so yeah, let me know what you guys think. I don't know for sure. Yeah, I can take that to a coin shop. See what they think. But, okay, I'll tell you guys what else I found. Alright guys, Tyler had a heart attack. Because he saw this. But, hold your hearts for a second, because it's actually an S, but. 14S, 4 million minted 20 dollar coin. In G4 condition. I would say this is in like F12, so that's about a $30 coin. Here's my 2009s, I have got a 52D Weedy, a really messed up coin, possible clipped planchet just like that other video I showed. Alright guys, so most of you have probably heard of this bidding horse Um. I pulled this coin out because it kind of looks like it. I'm not sure if it is or not, but it definitely looks like it. It looks like the spit the horse is spinning, but I thought I remember hearing that or seeing that the die crack goes up to the top here. I don't know, maybe that's just one of the variations. But if you guys know, let me know in the comments. Because I'm not quite sure what to think of this. Um, but I'll take it to my coin shop pretty soon. Alright guys, so I'm pretty sure that this spinning horse error is legit. I searched up online a little bit. And, um, I figured out they can be worth from 3 to 20 bucks. And, this is in pretty decent condition for being circulated for 20 years. It has like a little ding down there and some up here, but for the most part, pretty good condition. And, that looks pretty legit. So I'm going to take it to the coin shop probably right now and I'll get back to you guys and see what they say. Alright guys, let's head over to the coin shop. Alright guys, so uh, we're back from the coin shop and we have some funny stories to tell you. Um, uh, but first, so we went in there and the guy said, uh, we asked him, the questions he's like uh, you're gonna have to talk to my boss so we went over and he was like working on making someone's ring bigger or something because it's also a jewelry store and then um, so first uh, we showed him uh, these possible clip planches that I got we just learned that um, they weren't and they were just rusted but a trick to know if they are is you put another penny against them and then there shouldn't be any space in between like that so when you put them together same with this one yep and then we showed him this uh, Delaware quarter that I, I just got um, and with the spitting horse and he said it was uh, real and that it was a die crack so that's pretty cool, but he didn't say um, 
he didn't know how much it was worth, so my guess is about $10. It's in pretty decent condition. So, that's pretty cool. And then this is a pretty funny story. So here's Tyler's 14S, so we wanted to take it in, make sure it's not a fake or anything like that. And, um, uh, <laughs> so we, we gave it to him and we said, uh, uh, he found this 19, Tyler found this 1914S, and he's like, well, where'd you find it? And then we're just like, in a box of pennies, and he's like, get out! He did not believe us at all, but, um, it was so funny. And then we convinced him, and we told him that we search a lot of boxes of pennies, and he was just like, wow. It's like, this is in the top ten... Lincoln Sense, and it's actually in the top five, I think, in rarity, but it's pretty dang cool, and he did not believe us at all, but, uh, there's your story for today, um, I had a lot of fun taking these to the coin shop, and looks like me and Tyler both have a couple good finds, um, these are both coins worth a little bit of money, this is 25, he, he said it was, uh, VG, and this one is, um, I, well, I, he didn't say, but I would say it's worth 10. I would sell it for about 10, 12 bucks. So, yeah, there you go. Um, make sure you guys subscribe and like this video and, uh, comment below if you have anything to say.